In this video, I'm going to be comparing the differences between the original threaded freewell variable and D filters and the new V2 hybrid magnetic CPL slash VND filters. Now, since 2021, I've owned the threaded two to five stop and six to nine stop variable ND filters, and I've absolutely loved them. The two to five stop has pretty much lived on my camera and I've used it for almost every single video project I've worked on. And recently Freewell sent me their new V2 hybrid magnetic CPL slash VND, which this is essentially an upgraded version of the traditional variable ND filters. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these filters at the end of the video, you can click my affiliate links in the description and that's just a great way to support the channel. Now, before I get into the comparison, let me explain what a variable ND filter does. So essentially a variable ND filter is sunglasses for your lens and you wanna use this in bright lighting conditions. So typically, if you want your footage to have a cinematic look and feel, you want to set your frame rate to 24 frames per second and your shutter speed to 1 over 48th of a second. Now in bright lighting conditions, that's going to look really overexposed. So that's why variable ND filters come in and you just attach it to your lens and adjust the strength to get proper exposure. And now what a CPL filter does or circular polarizer, this allows you to cut reflection or glare from things like windows or phones. And you could also rotate it to get deeper colors in your sky, for example. And that's actually the first difference of the threaded variable ND filters and the new V2 hybrid magnetic CPL slash VNDs. So this is just a traditional variable ND filter. It does nothing else. And the magnetic filter is both a variable ND filter and a CPL filter. So you can control your exposure and also cut reflection, glares, and get deeper colors. And the way CPL filters handle reflection and glare, it kind of depends on the angle of your light source. So in that case, the hybrid magnetic CPL slash VND has the upper hand if you do want more control. The next main difference is going to be threaded versus magnetic. So with the threaded variable ND filter, all you have to do is screw it onto the front of your lens. And with the V2 hybrid magnetic filter, you're going to get a little base ring that you screw onto the front of your lens and you can just magnetically attach or detach your filter. And what I like to do first is rotate the VND to get proper exposure. Once you're properly exposed, you get the little metal knobs and you can just rotate the filter, which this is what's acting as the CPL. Tighten the little knobs and you're good to go. Another difference between the two is ND strength. So the V2 hybrid magnetic CPL has a variable ND strength of three to seven stops. And the threaded freewell variable ND filters are broken up into two different VNDs, which is the two to five stop and the six to nine stop. Sometimes when I am shooting in bright daylight, I find that two to five stop isn't quite strong enough, but I don't wanna stop shooting and swap filters. So that's an upper hand that I feel like the three to seven stop V2 hybrid filter has over the threaded filters. Now I will say with the V2 magnetic three to seven stop filter, I do kind of miss having two stops on the lower end of the variable and D strength because there are some times when it's not incredibly bright outside and I just need a little bit of ND strength, like two stops. But I do think gaining an extra two stops of ND strength is very helpful if you do mostly shoot in bright conditions. Now, when it comes to colors, both the threaded VND and the magnetic VND perform a little bit different. So with the threaded variable ND filter, I noticed that the color cast is a little bit more warm and a little bit more green. With the V2 magnetic hybrid filter, I noticed that the colors look a little bit more true and just a little bit more neutral. And if you do want to fix that in post-production, you can just add a little bit more magenta and make it a little cooler. If you want the truest looking colors, you'll definitely want the V2 hybrid magnetic filter. Now, every variable and D filter will have some type of cross polarization, which cross polarization is something that happens when you shoot on a wider lens. You might see that some of the corners in your frame look a little bit darker. And I will say that the threaded two to five stop and six to nine stop variable and D filters, you do see a little bit of that cross polarization and it can be noticeable in some shots. The V2 hybrid magnetic filter virtually solves this issue because it's not only a variable ND filter but also a circular polarizer. If you do see dark corners or dark edges with this, you can essentially rotate it until it's at a point that you like. I feel like you still will see a little bit of cross polarization. However, the fact that you can choose where you want your cross polarization to be kind of benefits you and it gives you more control over your image. And another thing with cross polarization is that it can make phone screens or computer screens look really weird with the threaded variable and D filters. But with the V2 hybrid VND slash CPL, you can actually adjust it and control it to your liking. Now, another difference between threaded versus magnetic is the additional filters you can attach. So with threaded filters, for example, I can attach my Nisi black mist to my lens first and then screw my variable ND filter directly over it. So if you do have third party diffusion or mist filters that you want to attach, you'll probably want to go with the threaded. But one cool thing with the V2 hybrid magnetic filters is that Freewell actually designed additional magnetic filters. So they sent me this quarter glow mist filter and I will say attaching and detaching additional filters magnetically is way nicer than screwing threaded filters. Filters on. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a glow mist filter does, essentially this is going to soften your image and make your highlights bloom a lot more. 
and they sent me the one fourth strength. However, I found that that's just a little bit too strong. So if you do want a mist filter to bloom your highlights, but you don't want something super strong, I would definitely get the one eighth strength. And also one thing that Freewell always impresses me on is just their cases. So with the threaded Freewell variable ND filters, you will get a magnetic front cap and also an aluminum carrying case, which is really, really nice. And the V2 hybrid magnetic VND slash CPL filter comes with this leather carrying case, which is actually pretty cool. And it also comes with a front ring and a back ring. So this is gonna keep your filter extra protected. Another thing that I really liked and I just felt like it was really well thought out is say if you leave your base ring on your lens, the rear cap that you would use for your V2 filter, you can also just flip it around and now it's gonna just be a magnetic lens cap for your lens. So personally, I think both the threaded and the new V2 magnetic filters are amazing. And I'd say if you're producing a ton of videos at a high level and you want the most control possible, I would definitely recommend getting the magnetic hybrid CPL slash VND filter. However, if you just want a simple threaded variable ND filter and you're not really shooting a ton of reflections or computer screens, then I definitely still think that the threaded two to five stop and six to nine stop variable ND filters are amazing. So anyways, that is all for this video. I just wanna say a huge thank you for watching. And if you do have any questions on any of the filters, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.